time at the big league camp this year. Um, What's that opportunity like for you, just to just to get to kind of be around that scene? No, it's a it's a great opportunity. It's extremely humbling. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far, uh, being able to be around all the big league guys and uh, and learning each and every day. And uh, yesterday, I got to be on the bench during the game. And I got to learn a lot just from being around it and watching. Well, you know, to get to learn from some of the major league pitchers too, just. Um, you know, Sally talks so much about like learning how to work with them, and ev- everyone's a little bit different. I know you do that through the minors, but is there a little bit of a different feel um, working with some of those guys versus some others? Definitely, definitely. I think the different, the biggest difference is they really know what they're doing. Um, they know what pitches are their best. Uh, they know their bet what to do in certain situations. So they just have a, a, lo- a little bit better of a feel. Um, for themselves, as they uh, learned and grown, and over the last couple of years, um, making it up to the big leagues. So I think that's the biggest difference. Um, where do you think you are, career-wise? You're still so young. Um, like, wh- where do you think you are, development-wise? What are some of the things that you still strive to work on? You know, because you know, because you've still got so much time left for, to grow. Obviously, um, I think there's so much to grow. I think uh, mentally, there's always room to grow in the game, whether you're an all-star in the big leagues or whether you're just now uh, getting to the minor leagues. So. Um, just being able to uh, learn mental parts of the game, uh, what to do in certain situations. And uh, obviously physically, there's always just going to be things where whether you're getting in a slump, like how to get out of it or uh, catching, like how to frame certain pitches or certain pitchers that may have uh, nastier stuff that, at the big league level than uh, maybe some guys that I've caught in the minor leagues. Um, I guess, is that just a practice thing? Like you're talking about like they throw, you know, it breaks more or comes more or whatever it is. Is that just like a seeing kind of thing, or are there things you can do outside of like actual gameplay to kind of get used to that? Um, there's always drills you can do. You can always set up the machine to be like really nasty, throw really hard, hard splitters, hard sliders, and whatnot. But I think until you actually get in there and catch maybe a couple of bullpens, um, that's when you really start to see the biggest difference, and you really can start to implement those in your game. And uh, it's, that's definitely what uh, what helps, I think, develop. You know, it's, it's Salvador Perez now has caught more than anyone in baseball over the last six or seven years. You, you've caught a long time. I mean, that, that's draining, right? I mean, you've got to think that – but I assume, like, in watching him, you strive to be, like, you know, to catch that often, I guess, is it? Or how hard is it to actually, like, keep your body right in order to, to accomplish that? Um, I think there's two parts. I think one is just being able to eat good, uh, make sure you take care of your body, whether you're in the training room, whether you're in the weight room, um, on or off the field, just making sure you stay healthy, uh, being smart about what you put into your body. And the uh, second thing is I think some people are just born to catch. I think Salve's a guy that was just born to catch, you can tell. Um, he gets back there every game almost and, and can repeat the same thing uh, at a very high level, and that's something that I strive to do as well. Frame-wise, um, you know, he's a big guy. You're, you're not going to be Salvador for right. his size. But um, where are you as far as where you want your body to be um, for that? Is this about the size you want to carry yourself? Or are you still thinking, like, over the next couple of years you want to get a little bit bigger? Or, or where you are frame-wise right now? I think uh, I like to make small uh, increases in, like, my weight, for example. Uh, I don't like to make big jumps because then I feel like my body won't be able to handle it as well. I think that making steady, slow increases in like my weight um, per se is, is the best option for me. It's for right now this season, um, I'm right at where I want to be. I didn't want to get too heavy um, and I didn't want to stay the weight that I was um, just to be a little bit more durable um, and maintain my strength along the season. So um, obviously I think as I get older, I'll start to put on a little bit more weight, but I definitely don't think I'll ever be a stocky catcher or a, a really big catcher. I think I'll always probably stay lean and athletic. Is there a certain guy you maybe like model, you know, like you kind of think your size and athleticism as a catcher kind of emulates or just you being you? Um, I just try to be me. I think uh, at a point in time, I remember when Benito uh, used to catch Benito Santiago and my dad uh, would show me a video of him and um, I like I started throwing on my niece because my dad had watched him and he had taught me. And I know he was a, a smaller, more athletic frame um, so I don't know if I'll be like that small, but I definitely will try to stay athletic. I don't know if there's like anyone in particular in the big leagues I can think off, off the top of my head. I know those guys that are like um, athletic size and all that stuff, but uh, I always think uh, Jorge Posada. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Kind yeah, of that he's, size, yeah, and shape, or yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, obviously, I just I'm gonna try to do me, and uh, whatever happens, I know that. Um, my plan off the field uh, with the trainers is uh, is getting me to a very good position at where I want to be. For those who haven't seen you hit, what uh, what type of hitter do you think you are? Like, you know, what, what's your approach? Like, 
Um, I like to drive the ball in the gap. Uh, I think that's my game. I'm not a guy that's going to hit singles and then be able to steal the next base um, or lay down bunts or anything. So I just try to drive the ball gap to gap. Uh, I feel like that's what kind of hitter I am. Um, and that's what I strive to be. Um, and uh, I know a lot of people may say, like, oh, like you're probably a middle of the lineup guy, which um, I know maybe like the organization may see me as that. I'm not sure exactly because I did uh, mix in where I hit in the lineup last year. I hit second, I hit uh, fourth, fifth. So I'm um, still just trying to figure out where I'm going to be, uh, what kind of guy I'm going to be lineup wise. Um, but uh, I think I'm definitely a guy that's going to drive the ball gap to gap. You know, and obviously you mentioned catchers not necessarily known for their base stealing ability. Um, but, you know, again, like athleticism, you know, catchers aren't necessarily always thought of the middle of the order, guys. Are you pretty comfortable hitting wherever? I mean, you mentioned you mostly hit in the middle of the order, but, you know, if you had to move around in that, that's not going to shape your game in any way, right? No, 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 it shouldn't. Uh, I do feel most, most comfortable hitting second. Uh, that's where I've grown up hitting. I hit there a lot last year. I found a lot of my success uh, hitting second. Um, but, I mean, wherever it is that I'm put, I'm going to do my best at uh, whatever job I need to do, whether it's uh, getting the runner over, getting him in, uh, whatever the situation calls for uh, in that particular at-bat. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.